Good morning, guys. We're in the island of Sao George here in the Azores and um, the boys met a local guy who has a fast fishing boat and he's going to take us spearfishing this morning at the end of the island. It's a dead calm day, the visibility is supposed to be good and I'm going to use my pole spear which I haven't used since the Bahamas so I'm really excited. And I'm going to take Lenny, the whole crew are on the boat this morning so that's going to be really fun. Yeah, let's see if we can get anything. I'm Elena and this is Riley and this is our home, La Vagabond. <laughs> We've been sailing around the world for the last six years now and recently it's like we're seeing everything for the first time through a new set of eyes. This is our little boy Lenny. Click the subscribe button to join our voyage every Monday. <laughs> yeah, what are you laughing at? Because I look over and Andre's got the thing and he's like, hmm, um, and I'm like, I see you've got the uh, six inch adjustable spanner there for the underwater camera. <laughs> Cause you gotta twist, you gotta pull and twist. It's really difficult to just twist. So yeah, he was using a uh, extreme did you force. Break it? No. no, I don't think he did, but he looked, he looked very guilty when I looked over at him. He was like. <laughs> Lenny, you see the fish? We're all waiting for you. On you get. We'd bumped into some young Portuguese folk on the jetty and three out of four of them were actually doctors from Lisbon. They come here on holidays each year and collect enough fish to fill their freezers for the winter. We were pretty happy to be on a fast motorboat for this spearfishing mission and we were also lucky enough to get the locals tour on the way. <laughs> Interesting on a rocking boat. Yeah. You're a bit sad because Mum's not here, mate. Fish on a pole spit. Yeah. Well done, Pam. Pretty happy with yourself? Yeah, you know it. Yeah, righto. Off <laughs> you go. Off you go, mad dog. Check out the peak of Pico over there. <laughs> so I got, I got two parrot fish. The second one I got was really big. I um, didn't bring a knife with me, so I had to get one of the guys to help me tie it onto one of their floaties. I'm so proud. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> I shot a fish, it got stuck to the bottom, and then two wheels started going around the tarpaulin, and I tried to pull it, and it's, it's really stuck. I just come back to the boat to grab Riley, and Andre's staying on the boat because he got his spear gun stuck on the ocean floor. <laughs> and um, there's eels and fish, and everything attacking the fishy's beard. Riley and I have to go rescue Andre's gun. And you were nearly asleep, weren't you, mate? Were you? Were you nearly asleep? Did Dad nearly get you asleep? No.
The one that makes the m most noise wins. <laughs> See you later. I've been reading Stephen Hawking's The Grand Design, and in this book he's talking about quantum entanglement and the slit particle experiment. And on the far side of that, there's either a, depending on if it's been quantum entangled or not, there's either a wave pattern or a particle pattern. And if there's a wave, there's an interference pattern. And like the waves out here, and indeed how human beings interact with one another. Waves can either be in phase and magnify each other, or we can be out of phase and nullify waves and each other. And I think that there's something in that for all of us. Picking a thumbnail for a movie and wrestling Lenny. Just popping up for some housekeeping, I wanted to quickly say sorry for all the adverts that have been on our videos lately. It's pretty annoying, as you guys know we source our own music, independent artists, instead of using the easier option which is these websites like Musicbed and stuff like that where you don't have any problems. <laughs> which we're going to use more of now obviously. Yeah, we're going to have to because sometimes the artists in take the, a while... In the interim. Sometimes the artists take a while to contact who they're signed with, who has to remove the claim that gets put on our video sometimes, and sometimes they're too slow, and so the person they're signed with has the right to put as many adverts as they want on our videos, and we can't do anything about it, and it's really frustrating, really frustrating, and we know it kills the whole vibe to a video. So, very sorry, guys. Um, Welcome to the world of international copyright law. Sorting it out. Very sorry. I'm on the left and you're on the right. I'm on a wire up all night. We met a local named John who ran tours around the island. He offered to show us around and for us to go to his house to use his washing machine and apparently the fastest internet on the island. Two very valuable things to sailors. And now she stands so proud and tall. Telling the world all the stories she stole. Okay, so people here in St. George have something called Adegas. And the Adegas usually is where they make their wine or they make their spirit drinks. And usually it'll be to come down in a weekend and just hang out with friends and just, you know, just get wasted. Usually at the end of the night, <laughs> everybody's happy. I mean, they, they're not falling off their feet, but they're alcoholically happy. So. <laughs> That's, that's, that's a nice way of putting it. <laughs> yeah. John's just taken us to a cafe and it's perfect because we were able to park our car here and Lenny's asleep in the car so we can watch him. And I'll we'll have a much needed coffee. John has been uh, <laughs> polite enough to invite us into his home. Legend, thanks mate. But get the man, we'll get it all. Put him in a cage and watch him spin. Life in a cage. Say when, John. This is riveting stuff. This is the, this is the SLV gold right here. <laughs> You're on the left and I'm on the right. I'm on a wire up in a corner. Chickens in the dirt were all scratching for food. There's one for me and there's one for you. Eat it. you. 
Isn't that good? Have you got a dive in today? Always a good day when I get a dive in pants. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> so we got three parrotfish in the end. I got two, you got one. I mean, yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> it's the first time I've ever got more fish. No, well done, pants. Good on you. Thank that's, you. That's fantastic. Yeah, and our friends got so many fish. They were just, yeah, they, they get a lot of fish for their friends and family here on the island. And then they also apparently take a bunch back to Lisbon, where a few of them live. So yeah, that was really fun. The water is just such a good temperature here. You could, I was in the water for hours. I didn't get out like the whole time. Hey, I, that, that was just perfect. So we're gonna eat that tomorrow. Captain Did you come in halfway through that? Yeah, what were you saying? Nah, uh, Andre said film the ducks, and I said, no, nah, we've already filmed it. Sorry, Andre said, look at the ducks, and I said, we've already filmed it. And he goes, not for filming, for fun. And I was like, I don't have fun anymore. Just all I want is views on YouTube. Oh, cute, look at the ducks. I gotta film the ducks. <laughs> Why do you hate ducks so much? I don't even hate them, I'm scared of them. This old plane is going down. This is actually not a tractor. <laughs> no, nah, it's not a tractor. We should really start saying truck. Is it truck? Sonia and John, they actually had a spare truck at their house because their kid loves trucks. Yeah, they just, they gave it to us because Lenny loved it so much and it was a really nice gift and we were like, he does love trucks and tractors. Ah! Don't know if it's very suitable for a boat, but there was no saying no to this one. <laughs> what are your thoughts on the truck, babe? Yeah, it's, it's awesome. It's very light. Will it stay? Can we keep it? Yeah, you just have to get a few other things off. Has your hair been quite flat lately? You ought to try Sailing with Vagabond's new Built Pump Water Shampoo. Made with 100% recycled bilge residue. Now available at all good retailers. But getting quick because this stuff's flying right out the door. Lenny, come on. Lenny, you can see your truck later. You gotta go hire a car. Bye bye. We'll, we'll come back later. <laughs> Boys are going to hire us a car. Kids are gonna have a full day uh, exploring today. We're going to a big natural pool in the ocean and then we're gonna come home for Lenny's nap time so that he gets a good sleep because he's been having terrible sleeps lately because we've been out a lot. More so because after his nap today, we're planning to do a big hike, so he really needs a good sleep. So this is gonna be our first hike with a one and a three quarter year old. And it goes down to this surf beach and there's a waterfall on the way. We were gonna hire a car and go to a natural pool this morning, but they're booked out until 2.30. So we're gonna go for a swim nearby and pick one up at 2.30. Yes, that's what we're doing. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Dada? Yeah, Dad has taken you to a good shallow swimming spot. Oh wow, this spot's perfect. <laughs> wow. have the biggest stack like I've not fallen over like that on rocks since I was a child I believe. Cut up my elbow and my knees and I just remember one rock, two rock, slam, slam, slam and all that time I was just holding my phone up in the air. There's a lot of butts. A lot of what? But. Oh, like cigarette butts. No, like butts. Oh, like Among bumps. People. Oh, really? They're new yeah. people. I'm not that big. <laughs> <laughs> We're 
Riley just gave me the biggest wedgie right before I jumped in. Nice, hey? Yeah. Actually, this is perfect. Yeah. We are crumbing some uh, parrotfish. Hiking with Lenny. How do you think that's gonna go? It'll be fine. Hot tip, when you're uh, crumbing your fish, get the leftover crumbs and the leftover egg and leftover veggies from the day before and just tip it all in and make yourself a little quiche and uh, also the leftover flour and it'll thicken up and then you can get half of it and tip it over and it's kind of like a calzone mm. goes on it's delicious it is really good yeah. what do you think of my fish though i caught it don't you know mm -hmm. it's very nice as well Huntress. Next week, the highlight is a hike down the famous Santo Cristo Trail to the most beautiful surf village. You are going to love this one. Do not miss it.